Hello Virgo, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on. While watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not let's do this you know just please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of virgo for virgo's highest good please you know just please show us what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Extra message, very important. Oh boy. This is you trying to find balance in this connection, in this relationship. Yeah. You feel that the person you've been dealing with, the soulmate, owes you explanations apologies yeah this is how you view them uh you're very guarded towards them emotionally you're not reaching out to this person no you're not reaching out to them um this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you just a knight of wands someone who doesn't really commit doesn't tell you where you stand in their life uh, how they feel about you. It's kind of a mystery to you when you're dealing with them. Hmm. Let me see your subconscious position. Yeah, this is how you are towards them. You feel that they think of you. Yeah, they do. They think of you a lot. They don't communicate with you effectively, though. You really, at times, want to reach out to clear the air with this person but you stopping yourself you see this you are highly disappointed so there's a lot of miscommunication between you two a lot of misunderstandings because there hasn't been enough uh proper communication yeah it's like a lot of misunderstanding a lot of unanswered questions uh the past is really a mystery to you when it comes to relationships yeah let me see, universe, please show us. What's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey? This is you trying to figure out if this is truly the end of maybe you could make at least amends with this person. This was a serious connection for you. Look, they're trying to be very brave to approach you with communication because they know you are disappointed. Oh, you're so hurt about this. Yeah, this is you feeling heartbroken, betrayed in this relationship. Yeah, this is them. So this person is waking up realizing how much they really care for you emotionally. Something they didn't realize when they had you, when you were present in the life. You're not reaching out to this person, no. And you overanalyzing too much though, this relationship, this connection with this person, you thinking too much about it, meaning you overanalyzing too much and it's getting you confused. Who are these people you're dealing with? There's a group of people that you have to deal with on a regular basis that brings you a lot of shenanigans, drama, uh, whether it's in a family or at your job. You feel like you're stuck in that situation, like you can't walk away from this group of people. You feel like you have to deal with them, unfortunately. A lot of chaos and gossip. You want to heal from heartbreak. You've been through a lot of betrayal in your life, Virgo, and you're trying to move on with your life in the right direction. Release, forgive, heal. Yeah, this is you trying to heal from a lot of betrayal in your life. 
So there's part of you that wants to reconcile with this person because you feel that deep down inside they are a good person, just troubled, doesn't, a person that doesn't know how to uh, express love. Yeah, you feel that they really didn't mean to hurt you, that they just are used to this kind of behavior in and out of your life and other people's as well. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. You are concentrating heavily on your job. Okay, so that group of people that just showed up minutes ago is a group of people at your job that you're dealing with. Yeah. You, find, you want to have a relationship that's healthy, that's monogamous, that's fulfilling emotionally, yeah, that's balanced. <clears throat> oh, so you're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment at your job or business. But this also shows me that you are meeting somebody new, somebody of quality. You see this? This is you meeting someone of quality. Someone is going to be introducing a new person to you. You see this? Um, interesting. I'm loving this. So remember, Virgo, I always like to remind us we have free will to decide who we want or don't want to be with, right? You have free will to say yes or no, whether you want the person that you've been dealing with, if they prove themselves to you through actions, of course, or if you want a new person, be alone for a while, that's totally up to you, right? So now we're going to ask about the soulmate you've been dealing with. Universe, please show us. Hmm. That showed up as Knight of Wands and King of Swords. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, they want to clear the air with you so badly, but their sword is pointing down again. This person has very hard time um, initiating communication, communicating effectively, expressing emotions, committing. It's a pattern for them. So it's not something that they want to do just to you specifically. This is what they used to, this kind of behavior. You see this? They want so badly to clear the air with you. Look how scared they are. Some of you block them. So whether you block them or didn't block them on your phone or social media or email or all of the above, uh, this person is worried that you're not going to receive them well if they reach out to you. They worry that you might reject them altogether or tell them you don't want to listen to what they have to say. This person is very worried about that. Yeah, this person loves you. So, yeah, you see, it's like they need to learn how to take life more seriously. Um, this is them trying to be very brave, courageous to approach you. Yeah, they realize they didn't put work into this relationship. Universe, please. So that's a good realization, right? Because we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But they see clearly what the mistake was, right? So that's a good sign. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. Ooh, apologies. So this person wants to make amends with you. This means apologies, peace offerings, explanations. They view you as attractive, independent, strong-willed, moving on with your life, not chasing them. This person has a lot of respect for you. Yeah. They realize they lost you and they know that they can't just come back to you with the same behavior. You're not going to allow it. <coughs> you see a new person showing up here in your life. King of Wands, someone mature, stable. I love King of Wands energy. 
this person is worried that if they don't hurry up you're gonna be with someone else because you are of quality virgo yeah you are selective you have standards yeah they really do love you this person does love you oh look how stressed out they are about this they're so stressed out about this situation yeah all this stress worrying how you're gonna react if you're gonna listen to what they have to say they've been silent and they want to break that silence some of you are letting go of another virgo and scorpio popping up here wow so again um you're meeting a new soulmate virgo you see three of cups again this time with king of wands which i love by the way your back is turned towards that new person though so you either haven't met them yet or you if you met them you're not aware uh that there's gonna be a strong connection there it's up to you virgo remember you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with right universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo that virgo has been dealing with oh they're so scared they're so scared of your rejection judgment when they come towards you but they want to so badly virgo you're gonna be celebrating some kind of accomplishment at your job or business yeah you are excellent at what you do you shine at what you do you are admired yeah beautiful you have talents use those talents virgo yeah you see again so even though you are closed off emotionally uh, very protective of your heart because you've been through so much uh, you are meeting people of quality you see this for the third time it's showing up yeah you are very guarded which is understandable uh yeah this is you celebrating some kind of accomplishment at your job or whether it's a new job or promotion or new position or new way of doing business celebration i'm so happy for you virgo we're going to go into your extended reading obviously we're going to ask about this soulmate but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as three of cups king of wands first however we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life the king of wands three of cups energy new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so we'll go click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys